Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Iowan Adventures, a world created and ruled by the Fae. I'm Jessica, and I go by I Me Stars online in places like TikTok, Instagram, and all that other fun stuff. Um, and I will be your shenanigan sovereign tonight. Um, very quickly, I'll run you through our shows. Monday night, obviously, we have the Iowan Adventures. Tuesday night, uh, starting very soon, we're going to have the State of the Union, a Shadowrun 5e campaign at 7.30 p.m. EST, run by Cottlesworth. Uh, until then, though, we will be playing Blades in the Dark. Um, let's see here. Thursday nights, we have the Lost Continent at 8.30 p.m. EST, DM'd by Mr. Markham. Uh, Friday nights, uh, we have Legends of Kralis, uh, at 10.30 p.m. EST, a TTRPG created and um, Dungeon Master, du Game Master, don't say that, by Talarius Game Master. Alternating Sundays, we have The Rumors of Magic uh, at 7.30 p.m. EST, DM'd by our very own Mazrox24. And because we have a new player here, let me just explain what we're about to do. I'm going to hand it over to you guys. You guys will introduce yourselves, who you play, and um, drop any, you know, follow me here kind of things. Anything that you'd like there. And I'm going to start with James. Oh, it's my turn first. Cool. Hi, I'm James. Uh, the rather excitable chipaholic uh, that will tonight be playing either um, <clears throat> or of Day's Ark. Our human druid, or alternatively, depending on the fates of the dice, Varian Arbor, a bit of a smarmy sorcerer that shares a party with him, because shenanigans are what we do over here. Um, and you can follow me, most notably, probably on TikTok, but anywhere across the internet as Mazrix or Mazrix24, if that first one is not me. Um, but that's kind of it. I'm excited. Let's go. Uh, let's do Dan next. I, I'm going to give our new new player more time. Uh, hello, everybody. I'm Dan. You can find me as the Speed of Candy on all of the various internet places. And tonight I will be playing Damascus Silver, the half-elf bard warlock, who just settled down for a nice night's rest where nothing could possibly go wrong. It's going to be wonderful. And having now seen two displays of it, I'm going to throw it over to our new player. Take it away, Caro. Hello, I'm Caro, <laughs> and I'm new. I will be playing. Should I even say who I'm playing? Should it be a surprise? Yeah, yeah. you can say. You okay, can say who okay. Playing. I'm playing the uh, Water Genazi Wild Magic Barbarian Muriel Gilly Galane. Um, very excited. Uh, you can find me on TikTok primarily at Imaginary Caro and Corner Caro everywhere else. I'm also okay. technically Corner Caro on TikTok, but I don't use that one. <laughs> I also put right underneath your name is uh, Imaginary Caro, so they can find you there. Thank you. Yeah. Um, let's get started, I suppose. Uh, last time in AA, episode 58, now you know how to scream. The bard and sorcerer tried to out-charisma each other before storming off ahead <laughs> of the party, running headfirst into a group of very angry trees and bushes. A couple of dance moves later, Varian taught a Hydra a vine how to scream and reenacted the scene from Ghost with Faiza, flustering her. Winter tapped into his war god side, and eventually the party stood victorious. Once the fight was over, the party missed whatever the DM was making them roll for and retired to Belos' brilliant condo for a long rest. Waiting until the party fell asleep, an, an exercise-bound Alewin slipped outside quietly, leaving the audience with the question, where the fuck does this bitch think she's going? And that is where we come in. So, as you sleep, you begin to... <laughs> oh yeah, make your roll, go ahead, you can make your roll. Oh, I was just waiting. I was like, hey, di like, check out this sick dice that was made for me. But anyways, Ooh. it's all glittery, glory, and stuff. Let's find out who I am today. Because that's what we do when I sleep. Ha! Huh. Okay! For the first time in a while. Oh, it looks like a rev is back. Okay, Yay. so as you sleep, 
you guys begin to dream. And what you figure out very quickly is that this is not your dream. As you see, Faiza. She finds herself in a dream. She pushes asleep in bed. That's where she was, and in Damascus's bed. She pushes back the covers of her bed and finds herself in a much smaller than she used, much smaller than she's used to being. She reaches up to her ears, but instead of finding pointed elven ears, she feels rounded human ones. Her hands are dark, a dark tan color, and unkempt. She gets out of bed. She feels nothing else unusual about herself until movement. She twists around, surprised at how quickly the room moves around her. Now that she's standing on the floor, she realizes that it's not the floor at all, but a rough dirt path leading through the trees. As she walks down this path, she sees only darkness ahead of her. She looks down at her hands again. They appear, dif they appear different as well. Darker human hands, less, less elegant, she thinks to herself, than they used to be. She steps forward in the dream and finds herself in a place unlike any other. The leaves, each one vibrant with col the colors of fall, rustle softly as she wanders beneath the towering trees. The brisk smell of autumn lingers in the air, the chill of the night echoing between the branches. As she looks around, trying to take in, take it all in, she spots a figure walking towards her in the shadows. It's an elven woman dressed in a gown of autumn, col of autumn colors with a crown of twigs atop her head and her hair falling down her back like a river of amber and gold. She is, of course, none other than Atma, the goddess. And as she draws closer, she is struck by her beauty. She speaks, and her voice is gentle but commanding. And when she tells her that she has a gift for her, my God, I cannot read tonight. Her hands start her hands start to shake with excitement and anticipation. She's never met the goddess before, but all the rumors were true. She is more beautiful than anything that she's ever seen before. Don't tell Bella off that. Atma extends her hands and takes Faze's hands in her own. And then places a delicate porcelain teacup into her hand. It's adorned with an intricate pattern of leaves and vines. The cup seems to shine brighter than the stars and glimmer like a small sun. Atma tells her, it's a powerful boon, capable of granting eternal youth and immortality to mortals, temporary knowledge, and even a wish. I wish a year. But she's warned, it must be gifted to a mortal by a fae, and the mortal must not know what it is. As she reaches out, as Beza reaches out for it, She's hesitant to take it, almost, but accepts the gift. It's not her, anyway, is kind of the vibe that you get. It's this is just a dream. She's given this delicate teacup, and as she cradles the warm teacup in her hands, her vision suddenly blurs, and she appears in a small woodland village. She finds herself standing in a tiny village tucked into these rolling hills with towering trees and bare branches. There is a sudden chill in the air. Like something has dropped 
very quickly. Like the temperature has dropped very quickly. She looks around to see villagers gathered near a large stone altar. They stand in concentric circles, their arms outstretched and their eyes closed, their faces illuminated by an eerie blue light. She can feel the energy of their voices. The air is filled with them. Longing and desire. I just screwed up that entire sentence, but that's fine. uh, As she listens, she realizes they are wishing for the same thing all at once. To become fae creatures. Powerful enough that maybe even they might even rival the arch fae. Uh, chant- the chanting of the villagers grows louder, commanding, and persistent until the very foundations of the forest begin to shake. Roots and foliage wither and burrowed into the ground and and not together in a mass of vines and branches that reaches out to ensnare the villagers. The night was alive with their terrified screen and tendrils wrapped around them, dragging them closer together, closer to the teacup in the center of all of them. And then everything stops. Surrounding the teacup is a a circle of what she now recognizes as luck leeches. Uh, Grotesque with their multiple mouths down their arms, but otherworldly creatures that exude a faint green luminescence and seem to draw and suck the luck from the very air around them. Her stomach kind of feels churns and she begins to feel queasy as she watch, She watches hordes of luck creatures begin to swarm across the lands, their blood red eyes gleaming in the light. They spill into villages, houses and temples, leaving death and destruction in their wake. Accident upon accident seems to befall any living creature that gets too close to a luck leech. They leave the mortal coil and somehow make it to the godlands, continuing to spread their misfortune and amass their wealth. The gods can no longer ignore their presence and have to step in. The fight is much more difficult than it should have been for the gods, but eventually they unmake the luck leeches one by one. Soon, the land is peaceful again, and all that remains are tales of luck leeches and their dreadful reign, until even one day those tales begin to fade away, and phase awakes. Talon is asleep on top of her, cuddled in. You guys begin to wake up in the morning what'd you do you're muted darling yes i am phases in the room with me Mm -hmm. i immediately go morning darling had a dream about you last night it was strange that is not how that sentence was supposed to end i mean it's always nice to see you don't get me wrong just uh there was, it was you, and Atma, and remember that stupid fairy thing that stole gold from me. That yeah, guy, that but leech. like, yeah, there were hundreds of them. Oh, wait a second. You had my dream. I mean, I had a dream. Yeah, but that's my dream. That's the dream that I was dreaming. Maybe you were sharing it with me. You can do that. You can talk in people's heads. Maybe you're doing it in your sleep. Yeah, I never had done that before. That's weird. If she's getting out of bed, uh, she takes talent and just kind of like plops him on top of you and he... All right, fair enough. Uh, weird dream. At least it was just you and I should go wake up Varian, a Rev. Find out who we're going to be dealing with today. A Revian. We know. Var- 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 yeah, I got nothing. Varev. Okay. No, it don't work. I'm going to make coffee. And she's going to leave. I, you hear 
from your from your lap where she's just dropped Talon. No T. And you don't know what he said, but she does. And she's like, right. Yeah, okay, T. And he goes, she goes and starts making breakfast for you guys. Uh Arev, Varian, what you doing? Uh as Faza walks into the, the kitchenette of the condo, she'd find Arev already there. Uh, pouring a cup of coffee, and as Faza walks out, he goes, "What? Uh, this is not what it looks like." I, I, uh, he puts the pot down. He puts it back up. He's like, "This is this is strong tea. I want strong tea." Do you promise? morning, Arav? Do we? Good morning. Do you promise? Yeah, of course I promise. He, he like blows on it. His hands are like shaking. <laughs> as you go to take your first sip a small winged fairy dragon flies out of the room I said tea in my defense I was not part of that conversation <laughs> drink you just, drink it, just drink it <laughs> the master um, walks out of the room with Paws the cat stretched across to, across his shoulders Oh, morning. Uh, Varian? Oh, no, it's me. Wait. Oh. No, wait, no. Was Varian here again? Yeah, he's been here for the last couple of days. Couple of days? Yeah, we're in Rhea. Oh. I'm home? Yeah, oh, we met your mom. You met my mom? She's real nice. Yeah. Which one of my moms? No, never mind. Real nice. That I, I know which mom no, you I met. Don't know if we actually got a name. Mm -mm. Did you but meet Sasha? Back. No, Sasha. Is I don't know who mom? Sasha is. Okay, so if uh, you weren't barreled down by a giant white tiger named Sasha, then I know which which mother you met. That's fair enough. Uh, uh, Think I'd remember the giant tiger. Yeah, that's that's Sasha. That is my other mother's pet, familiar companion. Um, pet the cat, lovable furry friend. I, no offense, there. Pause. A little scarier than you. Pause. No, he didn't um, mean it. You're terrifying. <laughs> pauses. Uh, wings just kind of flare. <laughs> Then I, now it's just a kitten with wings. I mean, you can fly. That's an advantage. Pause. <laughs> um, uh, I need coffee. I slept weird last night. I definitely only have this extremely strong uh, black cough tea behind me uh, that I suggest you drink before Talon. As you say that, you hear a crash as he's shoved <laughs> the craft onto the floor. Alan! He uh, pretends he doesn't understand common. I use my ability to speak so that any creature can understand me, and I just go, that was rude. And I know you can understand me, because that's a thing I can do. So... He's completely <laughs> ignoring you, like not even looking at you. He eventually gets over to what you know is the plate that Faiza made you for breakfast, Damascus, mm -hmm. and takes one of your pieces of bacon, begins to eat it, and then looks at Faiza and goes, I don't know why we keep him around. And completely in Sylvan, you still can't understand him, only <laughs> she can, but he's like, I don't know why we keep him around, honestly. <sighs> And uh, as you guys uh, continue to eat your breakfast, you notice that um, Winter doesn't join you. Uh, should anyone wake up the big guy? What for? He'll be fine. Breakfast? I mean, yeah, but we should probably get on the way while it's still early. We got... I actually have no idea how far away are we from home or rev 
Oh, well, we're planning on heading back to your home. I think that was Varian's idea. That is a fantastic question that I'd be able to tell you if I didn't wake up inside of here knowing we were missing over three days of my travel. Fair enough. I love you we, so much. Uh, just walked by a bunch of trees that were like big with green leaves. Wait, uh, no. Brown oak. Big brown oaks with wood. green leaves? Yeah. Oh, wait, oh, no, I totally know where we are. Lost as fuck. That yeah. tracks, actually. Yeah. There was there was a clearing, um, but the trees were angry, and they tried to kill us, so we killed a bunch of them. We did kill a bunch of trees. The angry tree grove. Yeah. Yes. Listen, I, I don't know what you want me to do surreal. here, okay? <laughs> uh, look, I... I'm I'm sorry, <clears throat> you know. Call it a great sleep. M- maybe some sort of Varian hangover. Uh, but let me just try to get myself sorted. And uh, when we when we leave here, I will see if there's anywhere that I recognize, and we can deal with it accordingly. Um, I apologize for sassing you both. It, and from your around your neck, by the way, you hear, oh, isn't he cute when he's all apologetic and not my brother? Good morning, Lady Mist. Good morning, my handsome prince. I am, uh, once again, not a prince, but I appreciate that thought. <laughs> um, you are to me. I, he takes another bite of the bacon. I'll go get winter, I think, if that's okay with you two. And he stands up and kind of like stretches a little bit. He goes, do I, do I smell burnt hair? Was something on no, fire? No, no. Yeah, you were not on fire at all. He, I have like looks down at his hands and his arms and he's like, <laughs> there's like no hair on my arms aren't I you naturally just that smooth uh no no what happened <laughs> that's a conversation you're probably going to want to have with your other half when I figure out how to do that I will let I you mean, know oh my god you just write a fucking fun. letter god damn it that's that's what I was gonna suggest. I mean, I guess. You really love you so much, <laughs> so much. But he didn't leave me a note this time. I'll have to remind him to do that every time we go to bed. I mean, it's well, considering confusing. I'm the one that left him the note last time. I think. No, Pretty he sure left was... you one when he was drunk. Yeah, he asked oh. you to help with with pause here. No, that's right. That was him. Yeah. Feed pause some bacon. He, a red like starts like, massaging his doing this, <laughs> and just goes, uh, "I I don't like being unconscious for three days straight. My brain stops working." Yeah, we're in, we're like it's been that note was like. Two weeks ago, like a week and a half ago. Like, no. I'm missing two weeks. I know exactly. Oh my god! Has it been? I yeah. mean, we did do some traveling. It's been a few. Yeah, it might be. Ooh. I'm gonna. Why I'm gonna. Go get, I'm gonna why? clean up breakfast. You know what? It's fine. You guys, I just <laughs> changed. Bye. And she's gonna go get ready for the day. <laughs> and I'm assuming Damascus is gonna go get Witcher because Arev now go sits down. Yeah. <laughs> Just... Why don't I go? You look like you're processing stuff. No, I... And I just go. <laughs> I go knock on Winter's door. Uh, yeah. What? Hang on. Wait, hang on. You wearing and... pants? Yes, I'm wearing pants. I and open he... the door and walk in. God damn it. <laughs> when you walk in, uh, roll me roll me in roll me perception. And do hey 
Uh, yep, I am not rolling dice today. That is uh, six on the dice. Perception, 12. Well, that's enough. Uh, you catch him with a book in his hands. Uh, one that you know that Faza loves and just finished reading. <sighs> Goblins in Love. Oh, <laughs> fact that I taught Faza to read, and this yeah. is what she uses it on. Yeah. Uh, what you got there? Shit. Don't tell her. My lips are sealed, probably. Most likely. Almost certainly. You're going to be telling oh. her the first thing you get out of here. Oh, 100%, yeah. He puts it down. So we're about ready to leave by. No, wait! <laughs> you leave. I He's coming so. out after you. <laughs> <laughs> and <laughs> you converge, but you all converge back in the kitchen. What? A hand oh, no. is coming out to try and like cover your mouth. Well, I was going <laughs> nothing. Uh, we good to yeah. Let's go. We we should start walking. Fantastic. Let's go. The yeah, I'm ready yes, to go as soon underwear? as you are. I I think Damascus looks a little confused for a second. Just like. All right, faded for the four of us best get on our way. What was that? Nothing, just not deja vu, but something weird. Okay. Something I was going to say was on the tip of my tongue and then it just disappeared. I'm sure it'll come back to me if it was important. We should, we should, we should probably get going. I'll go get. No, we're here. We're, we should. Yeah. I just think we were just a little bit off from that dream. Yeah, it was very strange. Did you have a dream? Arav? I did. It was made me real. What made me realize, at least when I woke up, that I really need glances of her talon. <laughs> the fact that he lies to me and thinks that I can't see through it is absolutely ridiculous. He says that you believes that you took the tea, yeah. Oh, perfect. It was tea. Idiot. But he is wise. Not very intelligent, though. <laughs> <laughs> what was it? Uh, is there something? There's nothing we're forgetting. The four of us just need to head out, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Just, we should. We've got paws. We got. Bells is with my mom. Like, yeah, we're all ready to go. As you guys begin to gather your stuff to leave for the day. Damascus, roll me, or anyone can roll me a, a perception check. You have, you're you just about to open the door. Okay. Ooh, perception. There you go. 22. 20. More perceptive than you. Thanks. Both of you catch it. There's a shimmer. A gold light that begins to appear just before the door. And then... Beloth stands before you. Well, hello. Beloth. All right. Wasn't expecting standing your presence this morning. It, is it weird that we weren't expecting a house call, even though this is her house? I mean, her name might be on the lease, but we're definitely at least renting it. She sidesteps you both, walks over to Faza, sort of takes her chin and like moves her face one way and the other, 
examining her and says, who are you? No, that's wrong. That's the wrong one. Who are you? I'm Faiza. You know that? I'm just checking. And she goes, all right. Carry along. And she's gone. Faiza, are you okay? I'm fine. That was bizarre even for her. Like, I... Don't get me wrong. She's odd at the best of times, especially now that we've woken her up. But that... I feel like she's never touched me before. I don't think she has ever touched you before. How do you feel? Did she do something to you? I feel fine. I feel normal. I don't know. I mean, when you two met, she wanted to eradicate you. And Uh now, now she just touched your skin and left. Life Maybe is strange. Just, Am I gonna die? Maybe she's just coming around to to see how wonderful you are. I mean, not to make you worried or anything, but I have heard stories of these people who really study uh, martial arts. They have they have a technique where they can like touch you and actually vibrate you with such intensity that uh, months or even years down the line, you can just take incredible damage uh i i think they 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 call it uh called it a quivering palm or something i don't know but again i don't don't, that's not saying bella knows how to do that but i is it a possibility that she just briefly touched you and you know maybe you just go later on uh it's not unheard of but you're probably fine it's like seven steps isn't it seven steps and then my heart explodes (laughs) <laughs> Hang on, let, no, let that, me that's, see. That, that's something else. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I rolled a six with uh, medicine check. Oh, I mean, it's possible. I don't... Mascus, are you? Yeah. Are you seriously about to do that when I'm standing right in front of you? Well, I'm just, I'm just examining where she was touched to see if maybe, and I mean, right there on on the chin that connects to, I think the. Uh, primary carotid artery if I ain't mistaken which leads directly to the heart a, a rev w- walks over just like unslinging his healer's kit as he goes and he just walks over puts a hand on your shoulder and goes I'm not Varian I can actually help alright um, you, you take to... over I'm just saying it. it does <laughs> connect to the primary vestibule nerve i read about it somewhere i'm pretty sure it's in the chin it's 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 okay champ and he like taps your shoulder he's he's like i i've got it from here (laughs) and he would like to do a once over medicine check of his (laughs) yeah you definitely can roll for me uh 16 16 okay that's really good you know you check her out you look in her eyes you you start you feel for you know around her pulse area which has always been a little off because she's kind of a construct um Mm -hmm. but you investigate you check her out and she seems completely normal so as as i've kind of like is gently like moving you know fingers under the jaw side to side and kind of like brushes her eyebrows back a little bit and he goes well absolutely nothing to worry about Medically. But, uh, for a second, I felt better. For for <laughs> half a second. Well, I mean, she might have done something magical to you. I, you I know, ain't I great like at I Arcana. Was. Uh, maybe. I ain't great at Arcana myself. We need someone like a trained wizard or something to know for sure. For some odd reason, um, a pretty high elf with pink hair kind of like pops into your vision and then fades away. 
Yeah, that would do it. He says under his breath. What would do what? Oh, just like a wizard would be able to tell if some magic stuff had been done to you. And you see I mean, that same wizard with Talon on her shoulder, and then it fades away. That'd be uh, nifty if we knew one of them, I suppose. Uh, but it is of my expert medical opinion that if you need to feel better, sometimes you should just go on a nice walk outside. Okay. Let's yeah, that, let, yeah. Well, let's get going. Yeah, let's get going. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah the five of done. us should really just the five of us should get on the way. I'll I'll check I'll check in with Bella tonight. It's fine. Well, don't the, worry. The you four of us. To, uh, if you right, I mean come. you and no, I said five. I, was... I, I just I guess accountant uh, Varian, who's kind of along for the ride. Or well, I mean, I guess maybe Talon. Oh, you don't want to be you don't want to be like that rude. And then from Faze's shoulder, you hear, please don't, please don't count me as one of you. He loves the idea that you include him in everything. She translates for him. That right. must have been it then. Let's, let's go. And you guys Get exit on the, way. the condo. It yeah. disappears and turns back into its that beautiful wand that you were given and you can put it away. Um, as you step back out into the forest, can everyone roll me perception? Oh my god. Okay. Okay, you got a nat one. <laughs> you see yep, fucking these dice nothing, are all bro. In jail. You walk. I got a nat two to a nat plus two. of seven. All right, all right, all right. Let, let um, me roll for Phaser. You can roll for Phaser. Andy Beyond. It's got an 18. 18, not bad. Did you roll do you want to roll for winter? I mean it can. <laughs> Let me... You don't have to. 18 as you're walking out of the out of the condo and begin your journey, you take a few steps and then phase is like it really smells like burning. And looks down and finds that there was the smallest little fire there. It's it's been put out. But it's like something had clearly made a little fire. That's odd. Um, can I make some sort of nature check to see if there's any trampling or paths away from the fire that's like easily discernible? Yep. Make me nature. Make me a nature check. Uh, can I whistle for Dodger to have advantage? <laughs> sure. Perfect. So as I sort of like uh, do that thing that some yeah, people can do, I go and like whistle. And so out of the ethereal plane just comes bounding along this <laughs> Doberman that just like slides in across the grass and like loses his footing because he's half in and half out of the plane. So his foot gets caught and he just... <clears throat> But then he like and his gets ball back up. his ball goes flying out of his mouth because he's he always brings it to you. Yeah, he, when you he, do the, that, the ball of returning like shows up. It goes flying. He like looks off in the distance of all the ball returning, and the guy goes like, <laughs> comes back over to me, and <laughs> I go, "Hey, here, boy, I I need you for a second. Let's I, like I just sort of I'm like, all right, all right, all right. So. This fire. We're looking if there's a way out. I'll go this way, you go that way. Breaking one. One. And we let go. Gone. To... We've both gone different sides. Go. <laughs> uh so. Oh, that's better. Uh so a natural 13 with a plus four for my nature skill is a 17. 17. Okay. Hang on. Um you find nothing. You do see that all around there, the grass has been trampled. Uh, there was like a bunch of leaves that were pu pushed to one side, maybe to be a bed for a second there. It's really small, like, and uh, maybe child sized, even like, you know what I mean, of where someone was laying. And uh, the fire is cooling. So it was hot, 
maybe mm. maybe half an hour ago or something like that and but you don't find out where they've gone from here dodger takes a moment to return and you hear a little and then he makes he comes back and he's got his tail wagging low Oh, that's okay, buddy. And I like scratch his ears a little bit. I'm like, it's it's fine. I didn't find anything either. They're probably just long gone. Otherwise, one of us would have caught it. He, he's got his head on the ground. He's kind of just like being a little despondent, not like Dodger. Everything okay, Dodger? You, you just you just need me to play, don't you? All right, all right, go get the ball. All right, go get it. And he disappears and comes back with the ball for you a second later. And you guys begin your travels. Mm -hmm. Uh, he, You play catch with Dodger the whole way. Oh, yeah. He's loving life. A couple times he makes sure to be um, uh, corporeal so that he can um, knock over Damascus as you're running. Uh, take a swipe at the kitty, <laughs> but playful swipe at the kitty, not a real one. Paz just flies in the air indignantly out of his reach every time he tries. He knocks Damascus over a few times for sure, but every time Paz just flies out of my little satchel that she, that she rides around in and just hovers in the air. And as Crescent you're walking, cat. as she's flying, you notice that Talon, because he's much smaller than her, has started just using her to be a mount. <laughs> And she's kind of annoyed about it, but nothing she can do about it. Even if she rolls in the air, he's still there. He can fly too. Um, eventually, as you walk, what's everyone's passive perception? Passive is 15. I love passive. Passive is 16. Which is good because I don't have to roll. Um, Bards. Jack of all uh, trades. Yip, 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 yip. You notice that it's a lot darker than normal today. Um, and as you continue walking and kind of contemplating on that, you hear what can best be described as just a big cat kind of growl. And a shout and then another growl just off in front of you. What do you do? Well, first of all, is that a familiar sounding large cat growl? <laughs> yeah, I immediately would be like, is that you? Would Sarah? you like to roll something to see if you uh, can figure out if you know? I'll give you advantage on it. Let's I would, see. I um, would love to. Insight. Give me insight. Insight. Woo. You know her. Uh, okay, well, it's a pretty solid start. Yeah, it didn't get better. Uh, 24. 24 insight. Oh, yeah, that's Sasha's growl. And it's it's a fairly predatorial growl, which you're not used to hearing from her. No. Uh, so if that's the case, then Arev would turn to Damascus and like, kind of like look back in Faza and... I like group, if you will. Take the armor seed and just sort of start planting it in my my skin and look at them and go, with vines starting to wrap up my arm and create the armor as it like crests over my body, saying, We need to run. And just like take off with the armor continuing to I don't know, coalesce, morph its way onto my body. <laughs> Grow. Lisa just her eyes turn black and she's like, Okay, got this. And she's jogging after you winters doesn't even it, it does, doesn't even hesitate he's like yep let's do this whatever's happening he's pulling out his his hammer from his bag go. sword comes out gleams Shing. yeah makes a nice Shing. gleams white with that radiant light as he just all right well come save the kitty you smash through these trees into a very small clearing where you see a large white tiger with 
luxur- with a luxurious coat of white fur, stalking towards a figure you're not, it's slightly obscure, obscured by this t- giant tiger that's like 700 pounds, um, you know, 11 feet long. Kitty. <laughs> but when you do manage to get a, a sight to see what it's attacking, there is a large trident between this tiger and Kara, would you like to introduce your character? Sure. So you see a, at first glance, looks like a regular, maybe like half-elf sort of person uh, until you start to realize some strange details about them. Like, she's got green hair, which is not super unusual. People can dye their hair. But then she's also very pale. Like, looks maybe unhealthy pale with kind of like a bluish tint to like her lips and stuff. Um, And she's got some freckles. Well, y'all are too far away to see that. She's got blue freckles, though. Just FYI. We love her. Yes. She's great. Uh, And she doesn't look happy, I don't think. There is, you've heard them approach Who's what do you guys do? Well, uh, I, I'm a call to Kitty, <laughs> so uh, I, as I come crashing through uh, the woods and, and crest and see the scene, I go, Sasha, it's it, it's okay. Hey, when, when you yell at her, her ears go flat like airplane mode, and then she backs up just a little bit. Doesn't even look at you for a second. Backs up, backs up. You hear, <gasps> and then turns and looks at you, like she's I, been caught doing something she shouldn't have. I have running up, and I just like lay a hand like in her fur until it comes up, sort of like right to about the collar and shoulder, and I'm just like, like, hey, it's it's fine. Like, is this wait? Are you out hunting strange people again? It avoids eye contact with you. Sasha? Mm. I I know it's been about a year or so since I've been home, but I thought we worked on this. People are friends, not food. Especially when they're alone. One giant paw kind of comes up and circles you, and then you find yourself being tumbled into like oh, the yep. floor as she's on Ugh. top of you, and a big tongue begins to just lick the side of your face. Your head is pretty much in a tiger's mouth, but she's giving you kisses. He's like, like with the, the weight of the body crashed down. I'm like, this was a lot cuter when you were a kid. <laughs> Just of just enough of a roll that it's not completely on top of you, but you're entangled and it's not letting you go. Um, With uh, Sasha having been distracted slash detained, I think Damascus is going to go approach the trident wielding uh, woman on the other side of the clearing. Just he puts his sword away. All right, no need for the trident. The tiger is I'm pretty sure not going to eat him, which means I'm pretty sure he ain't going to eat you, if that's what you were worried about. Unless you were hunting the tiger, in which case we might have an issue, because I think he and my friend are friends, which makes me friends with him. Name's Damascus. Hello. Uh, No, I assure you, the tiger started it. Uh, But I, I think I'll keep my trident out for now. I'm not much of a cat person, actually. Uh, and that's a you don't mean it. big one. <laughs> <That pause. laughs> yeah, there's a tiny little kitty on top of his shoulder that they kind of just... Hmm. Oh, sorry. I'm not making a great first impression. Uh, hello again. Um, is by any chance one of you Damascus Silver? Damascus Silver? At your service. I'm assuming you've heard of me from the Impressive and wonderful concert we just put on way back in Bram. I don't blame you. What gets oh, around? I'm not big on the music scene, actually. Uh, but that sounds oh. wonderful. I was just told to find you and uh, 
is the the kit boy is that a riff I <laughs> moment <laughs> at the moment he is oh well we'll unpack that later um I, like put my hands kind of like on the lower jaw of sasha i'm like can i get no and the tongue like gets no. down like back your around. your hair is soaked by the way she is purring <laughs> yeah but, like so you're, he, you're just you're stuck he's like all right we're, we're just gonna what hey walk with me just and he like kind of like tugs on a paw and just like moves it he's like inching forward bit by bit <laughs> and he looks over he's like so who is this damascus uh it said her name was gilly was it yes uh they call Apparently me gilly she, she knows oh. us but not from the amazing wonderful concert we just put on which means our reputation's preceding us even farther than we thought well, I don't know you exactly. Um, I was told to find you, actually. Uh, so, hand. oh, oh. Put my I... hand on my sword again. I have a told question. To find us. Yes. Um, what? I was assuming that I was told to find these specific people. Would I remember that they had a wizard with them? Um, I'm gonna say no. Okay. And you must be Faiza then. Yes. And the big it's fellow just... is winter. I remember that because it's like the season. I mean, I like her. Hi, I'm. I'm. Yeah, I am winter. <laughs> Hi, Gilly. Excellent. Wait, why do you know who we are? Oh, uh, so a god told me to find you. Um, I'm apparently supposed to help you save the world. Or something. I'm going to be real with you. This goddess actually um, was just, just incredibly attractive, like just mind-blowingly, and also terrifying. So I didn't super process everything that she told me, but I knew I was supposed to find you, and uh, then I'm going to help you out. Attracts. I yeah. go. I, I kind of rub my forehead and go, all right, so a goddess told you to help us. Attractive and terrifying. And I'm going to silent image and just start shuffling through. So I'll start with Tamina. Was it this one? No. Uh, Bella, that one? Not that one either. Atma. Mm -mm. Vara. <laughs> no. I don't think we know any other ones. <laughs> Wait, they're this, more. This one was um, look, I want you to keep an open mind. She's mm -hmm. got a bit of a bad rep. Um, have you heard of Ojianoa? The ocean archway. Yes. Wow. Oh. That one. Mina's daughter. <laughs> you're gonna go stick your your you were gonna go stick your your sword in. The in the ocean to go and get her help. <laughs> Only if Bella turned out to be evil. But she didn't, so I never needed to go pledge myself to o o Z. What'd you call her? Oceana? Ozianoa. Ozianoa. Apparently she down. likes me, so I don't know if you would have had luck. I'm not really her type, are you? This people was... probably like you. This was before I joined E3, wasn't it? Wait, what? I think was, we've dealt, we've never dealt with the ocean before. But no, it was more brainstorming when we thought Belloth might right. have been evil if she was mm -hmm. planning on playing us or killing us. So before we figured out what exactly was going on and realized she was on our side, probably. No, no, no. We got a story. Remember. Mina told us the story of how of, Ozino like was born. We knew that 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 they're like that's her mom. Yeah, Ozino is Tamina's kid. Yeah, we learned that when she was called to Belloth's realm. 
did that, by the way, because I didn't call her. I guess she just showed up. I mean, as you know, sorry, your he kind of said your name quickly. Is that your full name? Uh, no, it's more of a nickname on account of uh, I've got extremely good uh, breath control. I'm a sailor. Gilly. Uh, Gilly. I, I do. You know, that's, a real name? I, that's very funny. Oh, yeah. I didn't know there were sailors. Oh, I sail on the high seas. Just all sorts of adventures. Really impressive stories. Gets me a lot of free drinks at Tevin's. I would love to hear one. Uh, maybe when I have more of an open mind and I'm not so worried about keeping an open mouth of a giant tiger. It, it's fair. It clamps down just a little bit more. Ah. Uh, and it just, it started moving from your hair to like your clothing. It's like, it's cleaning you. Like you have, you're just not clean enough for its liking. You're like your hood baby. It's, it's like licking up bark and splinters yeah. at this point. <laughs> More or less, yeah. I'm going to try and create something to, like, distract the giant tiger. Um, I'm going to pull out my deck of illusions. Okay. And throw down a, what does a six of clubs get me? I have no idea what a nickel, nikaloth is. Uh, let me check that real quick. But whatever it is is going to appear nearby and then take off running and like duck in and out and behind trees. Just to look very it's a giant demon. It's a giant demon. It is. You you just created a giant <laughs> let me just it is a giant green dragon uh dragon-esque looking demon with large wings and a hefty axe that just starts screaming and running through the trees <laughs> miraculously not hurting any of them or making any branches bend and you immediately oh god the tiger settles down <laughs> damn it it rolled the a 19 <laughs> yeah. that's what that's fair <laughs> Phase of so jumps. Close. She didn't even catch you doing it. What the? Why is no one alarmed but me? The, I'm alarmed. Oh, the... What the hell? What was that? I, I, I got magic cards. I was trying to distract the kitty and get him off of the rev, but. A little warning next time? Sorry. I... I'm going to have to put this in the game now. <laughs> uh... Whatever that thing is. <laughs> Oh um, shit! I love that. Worth a try. Okay. It was. It was good. It was real good. Um, but she does stop and just sit back a little bit. I get some of the slobber off my head and face, but I like lean my head into her neck and like my body against her, and I just kind of like rub my stubble against her her skin. And, and I go, I missed you too, Sasha. She's purring. Big, loud purrs. And then I go, but to the matter at hand, um, you know our names. You, they were told to you by your goddess. Yes. If I'm understanding correctly. And that brought you here? About as yeah. far, about as far from the oceans as you could possibly be. Look, I'm a simple woman. If a pretty girl tells me to do something, I'm gonna do it. So here I am. The mask just, just nods. I don't even wait. Basil does not even <laughs> wait for you to nod. She just gets a hand up and smacks you upside the head. Just okay. I, mean, I, I guess I can understand that. Trouble. God damn it. I can't really relate, but he looks over at Winter, who I'm assuming is also nodding in agreement, but very, like, offhandedly. <laughs> Winter's <laughs> just standing there. He's kind of just, like, taking this in. And he's like, okay. I mean, this all makes sense, I guess. This, to him, this is like, yeah. 
Right. Yeah. So, God told you to come this way. It makes perfect sense. Oh, I like him. Everyone does. <laughs> <laughs> the paladin barbarian just immediate dives. <laughs> Like I hit things hard. Do you hit things hard? <laughs> I do. I, I, I also hit things hard. Let's hit right. each other for fun. Yeah. Hi, I yeah, I'm Winter. He go he'll walk right up to you. He goes, Yeah, I know you know who I am, but it's good for, for introductions. I'm I'm winter and I'm gonna be the next god of winter. And he puts his hand oh, up. Quite pleased, on it. You shake hands. It's, All right. <laughs> it's nice to meet you, Gilly. Oh, so uh, this goddess just appeared. Has she done this before? Or is this something that's new? This was the first time I ever met her in person. God, I'm sorry. I'm getting a little bit Irish sometimes. <laughs> Make it up. I'll settle into this voice eventually. Uh, it's it's supposed to be vaguely Australian. We'll see. Uh, it's been greatly Australian. <laughs> it's been amazing. Okay. Yeah, you've, you've done fantastic. <laughs> uh, <it's... laughs> yeah, so I, <laughs> I went for a swim right which i do like every morning that's like my entire thing uh and all of a sudden uh i met the goddess of the ocean you know and they just yes you do like apparently mm. uh -huh. oh, no preparation or anything but uh i have 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 had like dreams before i think probably about her but i didn't really remember them all very fuzzy so, all right. are, are dreams of pretty women common for you? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> but Again, these were not the these were not the typical ones, actually, which is what made them stand out. You know, a lot more like hawking. <laughs> <laughs> I see. Uh, takes phase a second. She realizes what you mean, and she starts to blush. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh. I will admit, though, chance? I I don't like being away from the ocean, so I'm kind of hoping you're planning on heading that way. Fingers crossed. There's plenty of ocean. Which direction are we? Which direction are you from? I'm from Horn, um, city of Oman specifically. Yeah, we were I feel like we were heading that way anyway. Hey. Right? I mean, yeah, it was oh. on our on our stops. Yeah, because there's the library there. We wanted to, to do some reading on the gods or something. Uh, it's I, lovely. I don't think you two, three, four? He turns and looks at Gilly. Anyways, I don't think you ever realized i've never really questioned our travel plans yeah why is that well you you're just very agreeable perhaps i think of it more as when i met you uh the group of you seemed very guided yeah uh, there, there, there was a, there was a path you seemed to be in a direction especially uh, that what Especially one of you seem to be really. Anyways, yeah, I'm you know, I am the. Very quickly, uh, a rev. You remember someone with pink hair pinning all of these red strings onto a board, that and then a flash goes through your head. It's just the murder board that you guys used to call it, and it fades away. Right before it fades away, a tin foil hat. And a tinfoil hat. <laughs> yep. Very important question. Was there still a murder board in the condo when we left? Do you want to roll a a perception check? Well, sure. Retroactively? Yeah, history. We'll go with history. A, that's even worse. Uh, that's a six on the dice, plus my history is not great. A nine. You don't remember. Uh, well, uh, yeah, I, regardless, I, I, I met you and you seem to be on a path and that we've just sort of been following that path and 
it's aligned with what I've wanted to do. So sort of why question it, you know? Yeah. Fair enough. Well, I... Belloth did say we need to get to the Godlands to get the gods out of us. Oh, I've been there. I'm sorry, you what? The God, what? Yeah. No one's been to the Godlands and you've come back. Well, I've been docked on the shore of the Godlands, specifically. They made me stay in the ship. You Apparently are... it's dangerous. You see Talon perk up and start to fly over to Gilly. And this little fairy dragon comes over to you, lands on your shoulder and... Hello there. Cute little guy. She's not lying. Is there a particular smell that the Godlands has there, Talon? <laughs> he looks at Faza and goes, I really do hate these people. I don't know why we stay here. Remember that I can smell when you lie to me. And she goes, he can smell when he lie when you when we lie, remember? So the He's smell like of the godlands is the smell of truth? <laughs> uh, uh, oh, he can tell she wasn't lying about Doc in there. That's what I'm trying to understand. Because like she said that she docked there, so like that she'd obviously just be telling us the truth. So why would so that's the He's smelling the truth, therefore that's the, the god that smells like truth. How, how is nobody else picking this up? That feels like it's like <laughs> breadcrumbs right in front of us. I... You... Dear lord, man, you've Very been Very trusting. <laughs> Faze is just like, you know, he thinks you're on to something. <clears throat> Do you speak Sylvan? Does a rev speak Sylvan? Anyone, does Kara or anyone else? I don't think I do. Hold mm -hmm. on. Um... I do not. No. Oh. Okay. Just so you, she's completely she so she translates for him. He can speak common and he can understand common. He chooses not to do this to fuck with people. But he always knows what you guys are saying. It's he's, good to keep in mind. He's mean. So mean. Uh all right. So you've been there. Fair enough. I mean, maybe yo God has sent you to help us get there, if that's our goal. That was our goal, right? Well, I mean, that makes together. sense, right? Yeah. I've got a particular set of skills. <laughs> <laughs> really Love just so ocean-based. <laughs> I mean... And we, so we could use her, then. You probably know where to get, like, a ship and all of that. Oh, yeah. Well, Damascus... I we've not been discussing for the longest time that we would need to figure out a way to get to the Godlands. And then we now have met through fate or happenstance or whatever, and he just he gestures to Gilly and he's like, sorry, I don't mean to single you out. Um through whatever I, I'm guessing similar feeling put me in the way of the group. There's someone else here who is exactly what we're looking for at the right time. And make me blush. Like, <laughs> it, maybe there was a reason that we were called the Faded Fa- uh, uh, the fa the Faded Five? One, two, three, Five, four, four. four. Are you talking about the tiny kid? No, he's, no, he's a new uh, addition. Yeah, he's Are we the... called the Forgers of Fate? Yeah, because we that's the name that we came sense. up because we make our own fate. Yeah, we came up with that back in the uh the arena when yeah. like Belos Angel thing came down and tried to kick your ass because you were cheating on her. Uh and Callum was there. I remember Callum. Yeah. I mean, how could you forget Callum? Yeah, we know you have a crush on him. 
No, I don't. No, you don't. Okay. Whatever you say, man. Sure. Sure. Okay. I remember, like, <laughs> absent mindedly fiddles with like the um the the fletching of the arrow with like the the worry notes that he still has that you he hasn't gotten rid actually, of. Actually, when you go back to do to do that, you did shoot this a while ago. Um, you go to feel that and it's gone, and you can't remember why you shot it. Oh no, that's true. I did. I get, and I'm just sitting there going, "That's odd." Okay. Huh. Did you guys so, just wake up or something? Everybody seems really out of it. I, uh, in my case, yeah, I've been out for uh, two <laughs> weeks. I turn and I, I look at <laughs> Damascus. He nods um, around that. Yeah, sounds refreshing. Honestly, we've been traveling a lot. It makes the joints really stiff. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Just like an awkward pause. <laughs> Too close. And then, to home. Uh, <laughs> there's this awkward pause. Hang on. Uh, Winter kind of moves a little bit and out of his back pocket falls out that book that he was reading earlier onto the floor <laughs> in front of you all. And he's like, oh, fuck. I think I read that one. <laughs> it's so good! Why do you have it? Uh, I just wanted to know why you were so interested in it, <laughs> and oh my god! That's I wasn't and... going to say anything, Winter. Just just so you know, <laughs> but uh, I mean, I guess cat's out of the bag now. No, not you. You can stay in the bag. It just it was interesting, and I was like, "Is this what it's supposed to be like?" Maybe I only have one sample size. So. Oh, buddy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, and he's, then... <laughs> he's, he's new. Very new. Uh, he's, he's new to this world. He's turning red. <laughs> he's starting to turn. Okay, well. Ew. So it, ew it, 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 is, it is perfectly natural to have thoughts and feelings that you don't know how to process but uh That's my... and the moment she says that his face just like splits into a big grin he goes i am yeah that's right i am your brother and she's <laughs> like no i i didn't mean it i didn't mean it like that that was an act you said it you can't take it back so yeah i am your <laughs> brother and just that dissolves into like just an argument between the two. Yeah. As they're off to the side arguing. What's the room do? So, Gilly, I suppose that means you want to travel with us? I guess Until so. Until we get to... Uh, best place to find a boat would be back home, I imagine? Yeah, I mean, that's where I know a lot of people down at the docks. So probably the best place to negotiate something. All right. Fair enough. That makes sense to me. Rev, what are you thinking? Far be it for me to look a gift tiger in the mouth. I think Gilly has, by the way, finally uh, decided that the tiger's not going to kill anybody. So she taps her little bracelet, <laughs> puts her uh, trident back in there. Well, that's a neat trick. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Handy. Once the giant fork has gone away, you do notice that <laughs> the tiger does get up and start sniffing around you. <laughs> All the way around. <laughs> oh, that's... Nice kitty. She won't eat you while I'm here. If you're ever alone with her okay. again, I, I can't make any promises. It's slightly reassuring. Thank you. Well, it's mostly a seawater thing. Ever since she was a little kit 
It's you would have to put a dash of salt in her water. So I think the brine smell off you makes you kind of smell a little bit like sashimi. The tongue comes out and she just licks up your arm. <laughs> okay. Okay. Great. I mean, if, if it makes you feel more comfortable, Sasha usually stays with my mom, which... Uh, well, there we go. Sasha, why aren't you with mom? And at that point, you see the, the tiger just kind of like shake its head. What do you mean mom's not around? Or you don't know where mom is? Okay. I cast detect thoughts on Sasha. Is that do you have speak with animals because I don't think that Sasha can speak in common. Uh, I don't know if I need to share a language with it. Uh, if the creature you choose has an intelligence of three or lower or doesn't speak any language, the creature's infected. Damn. Mm. Probably doesn't Does speak anyone, language. Can anyone cast speak with animals? Um, I can sometimes, but I cannot currently because I did not put that in my spell list. I currently have create or destroy water. I will allow you to switch those. Sweet! All right. Then... I will do exactly that. I'm just going to go manage my souls. Thank you for being so understanding so that we can figure out what the fuck my mom is. <laughs> Mommy! Uh, uh, speak with animals is the first level spell. Prepare. Yeah. Perfect. I have it now. I'm using magic and doing the thing. From the from behind, like from behind you, you're like, I am your brother. You have to get used to this. And then you cast <laughs> this spell. <laughs> and and uh, what do you what do you ask? I just sort of repeat the question. I go, Sasha, where's mom? Mom is not here. Oh, great big tiger, super <laughs> menace. <laughs> mom is not voice. here. Um, she's just a baby. She is a very, very big, eleven foot long baby. Yeah, she's mom's baby, so she's never grown out of that. That's fair. Um, a bit of drool comes out. Okay. Uh, how, when was the last time you saw her? How many sleeps? Big sleeps. I'm not talking your naps. <laughs> I was gonna say she's a cat. <laughs> Fifteen. So it's been two days. It's been. It's been five. Uh-oh. It's, it's been five days since you've seen mom. I've been following her smell, but the smell keeps going away, and I don't know where it goes. Did you it take goes us to a place where then I don't want to go there because it's scary. I shouldn't go there. Can you take us there? I don't know if I should take you there. Well, Sasha, it's it's been a year since I've come home. I think you knew what I could do before I left, right? You you saw all the pretty lights I like to play with. Yeah, but Mama would not like it if I took you to danger. Well, how about you just take me near the danger, and if my friends and I think it's too scary, we'll walk away. I'll take you near the danger. Thank you. And like, I sort of like nuzzle her neck a little bit. She said she was coming back, but she never came back. Well, I mean, that's it's relative, right? She just hasn't come back yet. So you can't you can't say she never came back if she said she'd never, come back. And... She's never gone more than, than one nap. Did... Who's been feeding you? As they're hungry, so I was going to make that better and someone. But then <laughs> it turns out that she's your friend, so I can't eat her no more. Well, I again, you're, you're not supposed to eat the people. Yeah, but I'm hungry. But did... Damascus! Yeah, what's the problem? You still got that bag of apples? I can get some apples. I pull out my satchel of apples. 
that I replenished last time we stopped? Faza shows was a... up immediately. Faza? Yeah. I hand her some apples. Thank you. One just she just turns around and throws it. <laughs> <laughs> At winter? Yeah. Just getting getting pelted. Just the one. Um uh, uh does Sasha go. I know that this looks like rolled up red grass, but I promise it will help you not want to eat the blue one. Blue one tastes like it would I think I think the blue one smells like she tastes better. Oh pr- oh probably. I, I won't <laughs> lie to you. Like and he looks over at Gilly again and just kind of like really looks at Gilly. He goes, Oh no, yeah, definitely. She would she would taste better. Like no no questions about that. You can hear but, this by the way. <laughs> I like, was wondering <laughs> Yeah, you, you hear the his one side in like, English. Yeah, his part is like being talked about. And then I turn to Gilly and as no, actually, he's oblivious. He's like, he forgets that she can hear him. And it's just like talking to Sasha goes, but at the same time, she might be tastier than the apples, but we still shouldn't eat people. Hey, but I bet she tastes like sushi. I you're not wrong. Drooling. <laughs> how, how about yeah how about this uh-huh. somewhere is it far to the danger or is it close let's get there today how about as we go mm-hmm. you would he like looks around these are these are the farther woods right these we're near the hunting grounds. Yeah. Perfect. How about now that it's not illegal, you and I uh, go hunt something, maybe an elk, maybe a moose. You like moose. Okay. Yeah. That sounds like a good, good compromise. Yeah. I like, like to eat the moose. Perfect. I mean, like they're terrifying to me that, just, that they are big and f- way faster than they should be. But like next to you, they they basically look like little toy figurines. So, as long as you're down to eat a moose, we could go hunt one. Uh, uh, Rev, uh, sorry to hmm? interrupt. What's the uh, not so little kitty's favorite meal? Uh, favorite meal, people. But like we're trying to trick. <laughs> All right. Favorite oh, no. other meal. Favorite other meal is usually just wild game. Uh, I think boar is probably her favorite, but um, occasionally she gets a taste for, you know, moose and elk and other large creatures. Perfect. I will use prestidigitation to make the apple taste like boar and just go uh sasha was it and i'll use my thing to make it so she can understand me i can't understand her but she can understand me um sasha was it i promise you this red crunchy thing will taste as fine as the finest boy you've ever had guaranteed Mm -hmm. ready i make a motion like i'm gonna throw it you ready you gonna catch it (laughs) you don't want to catch it you can just eat it up my hand if you want Flat That's palms. when she comes over. <laughs> flat paws. Super flat paws. <laughs> the whole mouth hand goes in her mouth as she sits there for a second with her teeth around you and she's like, please don't eat my hand. I promise it's going to be good. I'll give you another one if you don't eat my hand. And she pulls back with the apple and chews it and you see. Yeah, no, she's I, she's impressed. I fulfill my promise and give her another one. <laughs> this time I just. She will eat it, it now just out of her hand. <laughs> Okay. At least it'll totter over until y'all get a chance to go hunting. And she hey, is sounds like consistently the little one's been at hunt, your side. Been for a while. Uh, oh, all right. <laughs> I keep really rat. Yeah. <laughs> until I run out of my endless She's hungry. Apples. She's a hungry girl. Like they... leash training a dog. Yeah. Constant right. treats. Constant treats. But yeah, I suppose we would then take the bickering siblings and 
follow the the kitty cat. All right. Uh, do you go hunting for her? Oh, absolutely. Okay. So you guys, you wait. You guys all chill for a bit. You two just appear and go hunting. Um, why don't you roll me a D? D roll me a D four. A D four. Okay. Mm-hmm. Also, um, it, I don't know whether it's, I rolled a four. You rolled a four. Awesome. Okay, you find a giant boar that is just making its way, kind of like picking out some truffles. And that's the last truffle it ever had. <laughs> <laughs> Sad. Yeah, well, you have a very happy kitty. We have a, why did he have to humanize the boar? The last <laughs> <laughs> now, I, now I feel guilt. Face what you've done. <laughs> this is like, your fault. The, 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 the ritual was speak with animals is like still active oh, no. as, as the boar. Has, <laughs> no. right? so, like, the boar is like, help me. I don't want to die this way. I have kids. Yeah, literally sitting there, like eating the truffle, and it's just like, "This was for little Billy." Like falls over, like, "No, there's a little Billy the boar." I'm just like panicking. And I go, "I hope you were hungry, Sasha." Sasha's the happiest cat in the world. She's got a little bit of blood all over her mouth and her paws as she comes back, and she's cleaning them. Uh- <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are going to uh, make your way off into the woods following Sasha, who you'll notice as she you're following her will stop and smell somewhere and kind of sit and look like she's confused for a second and then go off in a different direction. Um, And you guys continue to follow. Uh, I think this is right here. We'll take our five minute break and... Pick it up when we get back. Hi, everybody. We're back from our break. Um, now, I believe we were going to go looking for Arev's mother, but you wanted to do something before we did, right, Daniel? Yeah, real quick. Um, as Arev is hunting, I think Damascus is going to pull up next to uh, Gilly as we're walking. And just... So this god of yours that sent us on our way... What do they look like? What do you know oh, about geez. them? Because, ah, uh, like, uh, like if you picture like a mermaid, but like I the start pretty trying ones. to, I start trying to like use because I can do silent image at will, uh, oh more block stuff. Yeah, like a police. So I start sketch. like using silent image to do a police sketch, basically, like try and Perfect. get an idea. Okay, yes. Yeah. So like picture like a classic mermaid. Like, but from like the fairy tales, like fun kids stories, not like the scary ones. Uh, I make her hotter. Really? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is the direction you need, need to be going. Um, she's got uh this cool like flowing hair, but then sometimes it was not. It, she kind of like changes appearances a little bit as you're looking at her. Um, All right. Like the waves. I'm gonna start getting poetic. <laughs> <laughs> um, she's got her skin is like the color of if you're really deep in the ocean and you look out and down and it starts getting darker and you can stop seeing things. It's like that color right before you can stop perceiving that it's blue. All right. You know that one? So a little like that. I'm yeah, that's close. A bit greener. Fair enough. Uh, and she had uh, this grand crown of like coral and seashells. Do you know what coral looks like? Probably not, huh? No, I don't think you would. No, Picture it's... like, like uh, some of it looks like a brain, and then some of it looks like sticks. I literally put like sticks in a brain <laughs> together. <laughs> in there. Uh, oh, all right. Fair enough. At least we have some idea of who it is we're dealing with. Because here on land, we didn't know this Oceanius. We didn't know they existed prior to like the five of us finding out about it a couple weeks ago. 
Prior to that, people just stayed away from the ocean. So, is, yeah. is something? Is she something that people worship where you're from, or she's just no? No, no. Everybody where I'm from also is terrified of the ocean. Um, and to be fair, it seems fairly warranted. Like most people go out on the ocean and are pretty lucky to come back with their lives. You know, people have careers at sea, but you've got to be, oh, you've got to be on your toes at all times to stay alive on the ocean. Uh, but me, I don't know, I've always been, uh, Fairly lucky, I guess. I know the feeling. How come your god is yeah. such a bitch? <laughs> <laughs> hey! I was, I was, I was working my way around to that. I was going to try and sorry. get that a little more sorry. subtly, but sorry, sorry. Okay, okay. Since we're there, okay. it's a good question. I was just wondering because it seems like everyone's scared of her, and she kills a lot of people. So I, was, I don't know. Um... I think, as I said, I think she's misunderstood mostly like i don't think she's actively malicious i think there's a lot of scary shit in the ocean uh and i don't she just doesn't like actively intervene against the scary shit all the time which like that would get exhausting right she can't protect everybody the sea is scary i don't know oh, is the answer to that i, I don't know <laughs> but she's always been very kind to me i think she tells me that she probably wants something from you, which is fine. Just might or be worth she's trying to figure. Or secretly great. Why just to you though? That's the question. Yeah, because I'm special. very charming. I, I think at yeah, this I point, I do think she's really charming. Yeah. <laughs> at, at this point, a, a rev stalks back into the clearing with Sasha, like having a full shank like half of a board just like dragging in 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 her mouth like behind rev is covered in blood his short hair sort of like matted up like it's sort of spiky as he walks yeah. in with his very dour haunted look on his face and he looks over and just goes um. the ocean isn't the only thing that's horrifying <laughs> And a blood-covered ti <laughs> white tiger comes in behind you. Yeah, exactly. Still munching on, like, the, the boar meat that, like, Sasha dragged. And I, tur I turn to Damascus and I say, do not get any ideas. Sasha does not share. Uh, wasn't... Appreciate oh you letting me know. Come, come here. Definitely and didn't want to try taking a chunk of wild meat from a giant tiger. Oh, yeah. There's a growl Very anyway. Uh, he's going to run up to you and start pressing digitizing you bit by bit, <laughs> but you're clean. Like, like, <laughs> as she was pressing digitizing me, like, you know, scanner mode, just like eventually getting me clean. Like, he's just staring into the distance. And then as she like nearly finishes up, he just goes, Billy. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Sorry for you. And she hugs you. She doesn't even know why. She's like, Yeah, she's just hugging you. Are you okay? You're distressed and she loves you. So she hugs. <laughs> and you hear you hear from muffled from between uh you guys as the hug is there. Uh Miss Miss Lynn will be like He's been like this the whole time. <laughs> Ever since the war. <laughs> Ever since the war. Sorry, just the, the, ever since the war. Ever since the war. Like, <laughs> yeah, it's <laughs> like correlation. He's been like this. Ever since the war. The war <laughs> changed him. The war <laughs> changed him. PTSD, but just because he killed a large creature. <laughs> Always let the spell drop first. <laughs> never put, never kill an animal while having talked to animals. Up. What is wrong with you? <laughs> yeah. Now we know. The first rule of Fight Club is drop speak with animals. <laughs> Shit. The more you know. The more you know. <laughs> it's one of those moments. 
That's oh one of those God. moments. <laughs> yeah, he's just oh, w- wow. wishing he. Uh... Holy shit! <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm still laughing at it. That's horrible. <laughs> um, <laughs> when they <laughs> when you when you get back, eventually you'll start walking again, and like. Faza will pull a rev around a, along for a while. Every now and then, under his breath, you hear Billy. <laughs> um, I think the last thing that Damascus says to Gilly as we're continuing our walk is just, I don't know this god of yours. She does sound a bit capricious, so we'll see how that goes. But you're welcome to travel with us, to work with us, as long as that's what you're doing. If this god of yours tells us tells you to do something otherwise that is not copacetic with the rest of our group, I'd look at the tiger and go, let's just say I can become something with even bigger teeth than that one. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, I'll keep you posted. Winter <laughs> comes up and just thumps you on the back like, oh, look at you trying to be all intimidating. <laughs> <laughs> I can be intimidating. You're very intimidating. Handsomely, I feel very intimidating. intimidating. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, has to be the most disarming line ever. When someone's like, you can be intimidating. I feel intimidated. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> I feel intimidated. It's working. Well, like, oh. Undermines it a little bit. <laughs> yeah. I will have you know Damascus has a plus seven to intimidation. You are Ooh. very scary, okay? I'm so scary. But I, I am not. not I'm, we're all just, you know. I'm so sorry that Winter said that to you. It's fine. It's fine. That, um, that, that, that's it. Yeah. As you're continuing on, uh, you do notice that um, your tiger is a little disoriented, kind of following her nose, but stop having to stop and sit and look around, and then going off in a different direction. And, uh, yeah, you continue to follow her. Um, is there anything that you're doing while you're following Kitty? Um, I'm, I'm trying to think. I mean, my, you know, my story forms don't really help with, like, I- engaging with tracking or anything like that. So... You know that she's a really good tracker. She will definitely find your mother. It just looks like she's having to do, to stop. It it looks like it's difficult, but she can still pick up the scent. No, I don't really. I don't really have much. Um. Sorry, I. It's okay. Yeah, As... I, I was reading my spells. I'm like, please let there be something that I can do. But like, there's, there's not. It's like mostly combat, I guess. Um. So, I as Sasha is having one of those moments where they are kind of like getting getting to an area because they they seem like mo- mostly focused, and then there are areas where they stop. Right. Yeah. Um. Considering I know that I'm going to be speaking with Sasha consistently, uh, I can cast it ritually. So whatever motions I would have needed to have been doing, like while we were traveling, I would have kept doing that to, to up cast the ritual. Um, not to have another Billy moment, but simply to be able to communicate with the cat. And so like it, when, they're, when they're pausing, when Sasha like gets sort of lost, I turn and say, what is what is it, Sasha? What what is it about these spaces that make you pause? You're one of the greatest trackers I've ever met. Kind of, her head goes from side to side. Goes, mm, I forget what I'm looking for. You you're looking for mom. Mom, mom. Oh. This way. And she gets up and starts walking. The, like, 
Can Arev walk over to where Sasha sort of like lost the trail? Mm-hmm. And he, I'm going to call back to Damascus. Go ahead. Damascus, can you do me a favor? Yeah, what's up? That's not his voice. Yeah, what can I do for you? I, you know, G- Gilly, Faisa, Witcher, like, let's get all of you in on this too, just in case. I don't want something to go wrong. Um, we're looking for my mother right now, correct? Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. We're following Sasha. We're trying to find my mom. That's the... Okay. I'm going to walk a few feet in this direction, and I gesture like the area where Sasha lost focus, and I want you to ask me what we're doing. You just told us that we're trying to find your mom. Correct. But a few times now, Sasha has lost focus. But it's always been in very specific spots. So oh. I'm going to walk magic this... shit. I, yeah, I'm going to walk this way and I want you to be my sounding board, I guess. Or I, I want you to ask me a question just to see whether it is spooky magic shit. Or like mushroom spores in the air or something. Something. Swamp gas. It's not a swamp gas. Sure. All right. And right. go for it. <clears throat> so I take a couple feet into the like, steps into the this, this negative space, this empty space, mm-hmm. uh, whatever, whatever area I Sasha lost focus in. Okay. Two questions. Oh, yes. right, two things. First, choose a color. Red, black, or blue. Um, I will choose blue. Roll me a d20. Okay. I got a 14. You know what you're looking for. <laughs> what are you looking for? What are you guys doing here anyway? Uh, Rev, I kind of noticed the look on his face, I assume, because we're like paying attention for it. What are we searching for? Searching? Uh, this Why? forest is... We're, we're just heading through the forest. Why? <laughs> because the forest is a, what we just gotta go through it. I like, guess we gotta get to the other. If we gotta get through the forest. Why wouldn't we get through the forest? That just doesn't. Damascus, you're making you're making silly talk right now. There's yeah, just the forest is the thing that you get through. I lean over to Gilly. Spooky magic shit. Absolutely. Can you help me with something? I need your help. Can you come here? Sure. I. Not a problem. I'm a helpful guy. The and second like, you walk out of that space. You were looking for your mom. Where, uh, Wherever you are at. What are we yeah. looking for? What are we doing here? We're, trying, we're following Sasha to go get mom. Why? Hmm. You forgot when you were in there. Spooky magic shit. <laughs> no, I didn't. Uh, what? Fine. All right. Uh, God damn it. I'm going to try to show a rev what it was like. <laughs> I walk into there. Green, blue, or black? Green. Roll me a d20. Yeah, that's fitting. Two. Oh, no. My dice are so bad. Man, doesn't remember you guys been walking for such a long time. Honestly, why are you? What are you even doing here? Ugh. You're tired. You're supposed to be in Thon already. Why are you just mucking around in the forest? Or are we at your house yet? We just like get there already. Damascus, we're not going to. Oh, oh, I get it now. Spooky magic shit. Spooky Maybe magic we just shit. Put up the condo. We ain't in a rush, right? 
No, Damascus, Damascus, do not set up the condo. Just that would be a bad place. Well, like Damascus, I don't know. There's a spider on you. What? Yeah, you come run this way. Run up to a rev. Get it off. Get it off. <laughs> the moment you leave. Oh, that's weird. There is actually a spider on your coat, though, and I'm not going <laughs> to touch it. Rip off my coat. And start shaking <laughs> it goes flying. I I just quickly produce flame. Just this poor little fire. <laughs> spider. Would you still have speak with animals? Up? <laughs> I do. <laughs> No, I have 10,000 children. That was I, some pig. You can see through all of its hundreds of eyes. <laughs> oh, I just hear it. I like hear the tiny scream. <laughs> oh, man. So is there any like visual indication of the zone? The spooky you can shit zone. Roll me investigation. I'm probably not the best person to do this, but I'll try it. Oh. I'll make my first roll of the campaign. Look at this. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <gasps> yeah. Thirteen. That's not bad. It's not bad. But it does look be the worse. same like everything else. Mm. Um whatever's in that place is weird. Is this something that's normal for these woods? Some sort of forgetfulness gas that the trees produce or something? I I mean, I'd say that I don't remember, but that seems a little apropos. That's but not I'm... fair. I mean, it's entirely possible. I remember reading a story once about trees putting out some gas that like made a bunch of people want to kill themselves or die or just they'd stop doing stuff and just perished or something. It's weird. That's I want to go so back to the goblins in love. Yeah. <laughs> yeah Much either, better. Either pick a different book or stay out of the woods, Damascus. Like, like, come on. That's fair. Um. So. You, mm-hmm. No, go ahead. I was going to say, you guys continue your walk. Yes. Oh, hey, wait. Yeah. I have yeah. a thing that could help. Go ahead. I have. I like mad. I have magic awareness. Where I could be aware of the presence of concentrated magic. This seems like concentrated magic, potentially. Yeah, How does that work? Win. Is it says have... I can open my awareness to the presence of concentrated magic. Um, I know the location within sixty feet of me, uh, and which school of magic. So not like super helpful, but that <laughs> kind sounds of like that magic. sounds awesome, actually. Awesome. Wild magic. So... When you do that, you notice that you do feel that pocket and it is wafting sort of slowly in oh no direct in another direction. Like it's it's moving very, very slowly. Guys, I regret to inform you it is moving. You also know that there's another one about 60 feet in front of you in the direction that Sasha is walking. And okay. As for what school, you don't know. You've never felt anything like this. Oh, interesting. Unfortunately, this mm-hmm. isn't something I can keep up. I only have this for like one round. So mm-hmm. six seconds that's, hasn't that's gone by. Real quickly. <laughs> yeah. How many times can you use it though? Like once per long rest. Oh. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Still, but I can't seriously tell helpful. the tiger to come back away from the next one. <laughs> you going to say anything? Mm, oh yeah, hey, uh, Kit, uh, oh, Arev, do you want to tell the kit not to go in that specific direction? Because there's another one. Gilly, how how could you do that? How did you figure that out? Oh yeah, uh, I'm a little bit magic. Just, just a bit. Just not like, not like wizard shit. But <laughs> I've got some. As I said, I have a particular set of skills. Uh, well, uh, in this case, I appreciate that one because while my brain is not fuzzy, 
did you see whether it was moving towards us or not? It was see not it was... towards you. Okay. okay. It, it was I... going just like it's going like diag like diagonally away from you. See like I, in a I, consistent I... path and pace and everything. Did it look like they were converging somewhere or moving in the same direction or uh the two that you see are moving away like yeah, in the same other? direction away from oh. something. I, I oh, whistle okay. towards you guys, but like not gonna hit you guys, except for the cat who is now sitting in the next one. Okay. I, I whistle for Sasha to come back. And Sasha shakes her head and walks out of it and then goes, Mom is this way. And I, I sort of like call to the group and go, uh, can we can I ask for t- a, a 10 minute small pause? Sure. I don't see why not. I might actually be able to do something myself in the meantime. Uh, I was just thinking that uh, I mean, if, if Gilly's right and their awareness of whatever is here triggered something, I think I might be able to do that, but a little bit longer. I just, I just need to, to set up a little bit. I think you and I had the same thought. Yeah, I'm... Yeah. <laughs> met met a call here. I, I'm asking for time to ritually cast detect magic because it lasts for that ten minutes. Yeah. Uh, so then, yes, if everyone is okay with taking a short ten minute pause, I will set up detect magic. Okay. Um, so as as this is happening, I take out my my spyglass that I that I have. And I sort of play with its ornate intricacy, and I, I I pull it out, and I polish its lenses, you know, back and front. But instead of, like, I look through it a few times, but instead of using it to actually see, I sort of hold it flat in my palms, and from at my chest, a little small moat of starlight begins to form. And then more and more of them emanate off my body until there's like this small fleet of stars just hovering around my body. And with my closed eyes, they all come and rest on my eyes until I open my eyes and they're just awash with starlight. And uh, I stand now looking through Detect Magic. You see almost wisps of clouds it looks like coming towards you that are the spots where the cat has stopped and forgotten what you're doing they seem like they're dissipating as they go further away from you but they're the further you go forward it looks like it's going to get stronger and stronger and fuck hang on And as you kind of like do this turn, you know, and investigate what you're doing, you see a couple feet away from you, maybe about 15 to 20 feet, there is magic coming from behind a tree. Low to the ground, little glow. Okay. Um, it's behind a tree? Yes. you. It, the tree is obscuring whatever is there. Okay. Just because um, the stipulation of detect magic, um, I just want you to know in oh, case okay. this changes it, says the spell can penetrate most barriers, but it is blocked by one foot of stone, one inch of common metal, a thin sheet of lead, or three feet of wood or dirt. Okay. Yeah, no, it, the tree is not. This one is not massively thick. Oh, okay. It's a two and a half foot tree. <laughs> let's let's be honest, two and three quarters. But uh, okay, so then I would like to approach a little closer, but choose to use my action of the spell, mm-hmm. um, which if I do so. 
will give me a faint aura around any visible creature or object in the area that bears magic, and I learn it School of Magic of any. So whatever this little glowing thing is, I get to see it a little bit better and... So you take a step towards the tree, uh, one, maybe two, and then you use your action there, and uh, you see a little outline of a you think maybe a small child with big horns just kind of sitting behind the tree kind of crouched over uh you get a magical signal not one that's like like you it would if for people like you the, you give off magic but you're not you don't be like hey i use divination magic only you know what i mean okay so it's not like an illusion spell like they're hiding or no. like yeah oh okay um, a really magical small little thing behind there. I turn and I try to like get everybody's like attention, but like silently. Just you know, wave. once you finish, it just connects spell, you guys all yeah. in your head. <laughs> ah! Oh, I, in my I? head, I say, uh, you know, she she does that. She can not know this. It's very handy. Gilly says out loud, do I have to say things out loud? No, that's the point. You just get in your head. Cool. That was not out loud. Yeah. <laughs> you just think it in your head. Uh, what are we doing? There is a very magical creature right over here. You don't have right. to, you know, not use your mouth either. You're in. Okay, fuck this. <laughs> do we think it's dangerous i put my hand on my sword like an animal creature how big uh oh, child maybe. sized yeah all right we could take that I, easy i wasn't worried about <laughs> taking that on as much as wondering if maybe it would be scared and i didn't want all of us to approach and scare off the child. Well, I'm going to try and talk to it, calm it down. I've got a very common presence, at least that's what I've been told. Yeah, you're not very intimidating. <laughs> I mean, yeah, if I don't want to be, I can be very... Uh... Shut up. <laughs> I, I do not think intimidation is what we're going for here, so... <laughs> How would you like to approach? Well, if nobody else is taking the lead, I'll make my way around. Give it like a decent wide berth so I'm not coming up right beside it, but giving him like the ability to see me kind of approach around the side or whoever's there. Which uh, side? Short... The left side. So as you, are you doing it silently? Are you letting them hear you? I think I will try and be a little bit sneaky until you I get me stealth? within sight of it. 11 plus 18. 18. Okay, yeah. You walk up around the left side, give it, giving the tree a little bit of a birth. Um, and you see behind the tree kind of looking out on the le on the right hand side kind of just trying not to be seen is a small little pink tiefling girl i immediately not I'm sure gonna, if she's i'm just going to put this in in chat for you okay um oh she's adorable uh, not sure if she speaks common or not. Damascus is... How many times have I taken to use this? Sorry, give me a second. Traits. You see, so I'm going to just... A little description. She's okay. is a uh, young pink female, no older than maybe like six. Uh, she has long pink hair and like large thick horns that look like much too big for her head uh, right now. And her eyes are... As she kind of like scans around her eyes are large and like a big coral color 
she's wearing a slightly too big princess dress and it's tattered her cloak is ripped and she's got a a small bag with her um Mascus is going to I gotta use the spell slot to do it again but I'll use my universal speech to ensure that she can understand me just in case she doesn't speak common and say um Hello there, little one. What are you doing out here all by yourself? Her head slowly turns to look at you. She's got the biggest, widest eyes. Nothing to worry about. Promise I ain't gonna hurt you. We just, uh, heard you hiding back here. Wanted to make sure you were all right. Are you okay? What's wrong? don't know what I am. Uh, you're in Brea. I in... know I am from Brea. I don't know where I am and I don't know where my daddy is and I'm hungry. Well, and I can help I was you with... not following you for a long time. I didn't... You disappeared and I was all alone for a very long time. You've been following us? Mm-hmm. All right. Well, I don't know where your daddy is. And I can't tell you exactly where we are, but my friend could. But I can at least help you with one of your problems. And I probably pull in one of my last apples after feeding most of them to Sasha. I pull in a little apple and go, do you want something to eat? Her eyes get bigger and she's like... Tasty, I promise. I hold it out for her to come get. Takes it, she comes over to you, takes it, goes... Before she bites you. Has this? What's wrong? I I, I can has this. You can has it. It's all yours. And she starts gnawing on it. If you're still hungry when you're done, there's another one where... Hang on. Yeah, there's another one or two where it came from. I see. She's chewing on the apple. Do you want to come with me and talk to my friend? He's... Are are you from here? You're from Rhea? Mm Mm-hmm. Well, come and chat with my friend. He's a knight. He is big and strong. He acted weird before. Oh, he's just silly sometimes. Sometimes he likes to pretend he's someone else. It's just a fun game that we play. I promise you won't act silly if you go talk to him now. She'll take your hand. Offer her hand. Bring her around. Did you you got a name? She's got a name, sweetheart. Mm-mm. My name, my name is Arabella. Arabella, nice to meet you. You can call me Damascus. Oh, and I Damascus. bring her around the side and go. Now, don't get scared. There's a big, big cat. He's just a. She's just a fluffy little kitty cat. I promise, she ain't gonna hurt you. I. Bring her around the side of the tree and go, uh, everyone, I'd like you to meet my new friend. Her name is Rebella, was it? Yeah. Her name's Rebella. Princess. Well, hello, darling. What a little cute one. Where'd she come from? Um, I don't know. Hmm. Seems... I thought, re- I- I come, I lived in, I lived in, um, I was, has lived in Thon with my mom. No, uh, uh, Rev's eyes are still like glowing with the light from Detect Magic as he begins to talk to her, but he goes, she's, she's a little beacon. Hi. It's nice to meet you. And he like gets down on one knee and sort of like shuffles in like the 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 wooden armor a little bit and he goes i know it doesn't look like regular armor but i promise this what i'm wearing right here is the armor of a knight mom i said that if i get lost i could ask a knight to save me will you help a princess 
Well, it certainly seems like you've stumbled into the right camp, so to speak. Your name was Rebella, correct? Yeah. <clears throat> now, you you know this this world can be pretty big and scary sometimes, right? Yeah. Yeah. But... Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm sure your mom always told you you were something special, right? Yeah, I'm a princess. Is he? <laughs> Do you have any? Because <laughs> you, because you know, I'm, I'm a, a brave, strong knight, correct? Yeah. Do you have any little magical stories you like to tell, Princess Rebella? Anything about yourself, maybe? She gets shy. It's okay. <laughs> Kind of Every ties into Damascus a little bit. Oh, come on, darling. You don't have to be shy. We all have wonderful stories, and I'd be happy to regale you with some, but it's only fair that you share with with others. Yeah. Why don't you and I will take my cat from my pouch and go be nice? Why don't you pet Paws here? She's very fluffy and loves being pet by adorable little princesses just like you and it'll help calm you down and you tell us a little about yourself she looks at the cat looks at the big apple in her hand which engulfs this whole hand she looks genuinely perplexed for a second like i want both why don't i hold the cat you pet it and use your other hand to eat the apple okay yeah that's better and she just pets the cat and to your surprise, uh, Paws leans into this. Hmm. I like how uh, yeah. I like animals. I like animals. All right, that's good. He seems to, she seems to like you too. Scritch, 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 scritch. She lets her start scratching her belly, which she doesn't let you do at all. Um, I turn to the group and go, uh, she says she's looking for her, her dad. Went, he went missing or something. She's been following us for a while, apparently. Crunch. Seems like parents going missing is kind of a trend around here. Yeah, well, Don't we think he wandered into one of those cloud things? Not where he was, maybe. I mean, if you don't want to talk about yourself there, little princess, maybe you'll tell us a little bit more about your dad or your mom? No. You, okay. Did <laughs> <laughs> she just say no? <laughs> just, yeah, cold no. <laughs> Absolutely not. What do you want to know? Maybe start with their names. She looks at you like that is the dumbest question anyone has ever asked her. And she goes, Mommy and Daddy. <laughs> oh, of course, yeah. Yes. Uh, you're very smart, Rebella. But perhaps Mommy and Daddy have other names, kind of like yours, like Rebella, that you may have heard them call each other. And not Playful ones or joking ones, but other ones. Mommy calls mommy. Mommy calls daddy. Mom, daddy mom, what? I think you're breaking her brain here. But <laughs> mommy and daddy. That's okay. How about you tell us what you and you were out here with your with your daddy? Yeah. How about you tell us what the two of you were doing out here? It's a secret. Fair enough. Have you been out here before? Or is this the first time? Not that far. Not by myself. Well, certainly. You're on an adventure, aren't you? Well, you're being very brave. Nobody really likes their first adventure. They're very scary. 
I'm brave. Borrowed my dress. And she shows you this big cloak that's got a big crap, oh, big scratch through it, and she's like, I ruined my dress. Does anybody have mending? No, I have pressed the digitation, but it won't fix it. It'll just make it look fixed. Wait, I'm a sailor. I can totally sew. <laughs> you up can sales totally sew. <laughs> you can totally sew. And I'll say you have you have thread on you. Yeah, princess, I'll stitch that up for, for you. you Don't even worry about it. She takes and it maybe, off immediately. Maybe you can tell my friend Damascus uh, what your daddy looks like. Because he can make pictures. Okay. Want to do that again? Sure. I, I make a prestidigitation of just a generic tiefling-looking man. Tiefling. <laughs> she laughs. Tiefling number four. Is this, is this what your daddy looks like? He doesn't have horns. He doesn't have horns. All right. I get rid of the horns. Does he have pretty pink skin like you do? <laughs> no. No. What color? Red? It's Purple. Brown. brown, I think. Brown. Has he got a tail? Maybe lighter brown, though. Like, like a tree, by tree. Like she points out, tree like brown. a little, it's a little bit like caramelly colored. What, what about his ears? Are they rounded like uh, my friend the knight here, or are they more pointed like mine? They're round. Round. Okay, give him round ears. Does he have a tail like you do? No. <laughs> no tail. That doesn't have a tail. Okay, we'll get rid of the tail. Um, we go through what colors his hair, step by step, break her through this process. <laughs> I'm assuming she's making a human male. Yes, she is. Um, like. And eventually you get it close enough that I'm going to let a Rev make a roll. Um, give me... Give me a, uh, I'm going to say investigation. Okay. Oh, uh, investigation. Oh, okay. Well, I have a plus zero to investigation, but I rolled a 15. So not bad. You know who this person is. And that's fucking weird because there's no way he has a child, a, a pink tiefling child. Uh, this is your cousin, the grandson of the eldest druid himself, Roy Arbor. The person that leads the charge against the purple tieflings. I, so our rev's only been gone from his home like a year and a half or so, right? Mm -hmm. Like, so this girl is six. Yep. Which, which means there's been like a solid five years that I've seen and interacted with my cousin without ever having heard of him having a daughter. Yep. Let let alone a tiefling daughter. Yep. And with the very uncommon pink skin. There's none that you know of. Uh, there's not a single tiefling that has ever been born with pink skin that I know of. That you know of. Correct. So I... I mean, not to say that there are red flags going off in my head. More of pink flags going off in my head. Uh, that something is that something's up, but I kind of like come up and I I tap Damascus on the shoulder, and I start talking to him and being like, you know, I hear princesses love knights of uh, stories of knights and how they're rescued, and why don't you tell the little girl? And like while I'm like going through this and talking out loud, I'm telepathically communicating with you, going, I know that man. And that man, that man is my cousin, the grandson of the eldest druid. His name is Roy Arbor. And until this moment, I would have told you if you would ask me that he hates tieflings and has no children. 
Mm. As you're it talking, by the way, mistaken. she's going through her bag, which seems to be like a little small bag of holding that she her whole arm disappears into. Go ahead, continue. Why would he lie about having a daughter? I don't know. I don't know where the animosity that he's had towards the purple-skinned tieflings came from either. Uh, to me and to my side of the family, a, a person is a person, regardless of where you're from, what you look like, or uh, how you choose to identify. So that kind of animosity based off of some sort of arbitrary category like that is so foreign and now we've been stumbling through the woods and have seemingly found this pink tiefling like like pink. at this point by the way she pulls up a picture that she's drawn herself it is not good it is just scribbles and stuff and she goes see it looks just like my daddy it's oh, that's lovely! Un uncanny how close it is. You, like you can tell it's a it's a hu it's humanoid, but and the colors are the same. Hmm. I think your picture might be better than mine, darling. <laughs> I did. I did. I draw to you too. Draw to me? Yeah, because I had a lot of time when you guys were gone for so long. Can I see what you what you drew? Okay. And she pulls out a stack of papers for you to go through. And uh and like you see that there's like a group photo of you guys. Like there's one of you, a couple of you and Faza, then there's like a group photo. And give me an investigation. Not bad. Not bad. Uh, plus three gives me a fourteen. 14 there's an extra person in the photo or in the drawing uh one with pink hair who's and you see there's actually a couple of these of them by themselves i show it to the group and go i think she might have made a mistake or something uh Sweetheart, there's only four of us. Winter's like, hey. But there were only four of us before Gilly arrived. I'm assuming there's around. no pictures of Gilly in there, right? Yeah. Who? Who's this other person here? got pink hair. Is she supposed to have pink skin? Is this supposed to be you? No. I don't know. I don't know. Um, Rebella, how did you draw these? What, what, when did you draw these? Yesterday. You drew mm -hmm. pictures of our group before you had ever met us. No, I followed you. I thought maybe because you're a knight, you bring me home. She said she'd been following us for a while. How long have you been following us for? I don't know. Two days. How? Two days. You you went to sleep two times? Yeah, you disappear. You we disappear. Yeah, we, we have a special place we go when it's time to go to bed. Something like fires. Yeah. It, it, did you make a fire outside of our where we disappeared this morning? Yeah. I turned to a rev. I think we found your mystery pyromaniac. Well, I never would have considered her a pyromaniac for a single fire, but I yes, I believe we did. This is bizarre. I think we find your mom. We try and find this one's dad. Maybe they're in the same place. 
I, I assume if he's your cousin, your mom would know him. Maybe that's where she is. She's with him. She's that does. No. It's been gone for a long time. I miss her. Oh, your yeah, mom. mom. Oh, sweetheart. Um, I'm sorry to hear about that. Uh, my friend here was discussing my mother. You... Did you ever spend any time with your father with the knights or the rangers at the outskirts of the borders? No, never, eh? That's okay. I'm a secret. Just... Well, then I suppose it would only be fair if we made sure to keep the secret of you quite safe by making sure that you are quite safe. Does that make sense? He looks like she's like, she's she looks really like, she's calmed down. She's not like, she was a little nervous at first, but she's calmed right down. She's like, I'm safe now. She's pulled out her drawings. She's scribbling on some stuff. Uh, and the whole time has been like inching towards a rev. It doesn't have to inch. I, I'll just like bring her in and yeah. like, hold that's her it. Close. She is comfy. Yeah. That's she, yeah. she's, she looks like she belongs there and she's not moving. So I sit there cradling the Rebella and I look at the group and I go, well, what do you want to do? Obviously, the, leaving her in this sort of situation is not in any way acceptable. I, I think plan stays the same. It's just that now we're looking for two people instead of one. Hmm. The tiger's leading us to you, Mom. We have no idea where to start with hers. That yeah. way. Oh, you know and, what? Uh, and it's the same way the tiger is going. Well, there we go. That way. Let me head that way. How do you, you, see, how do you know it's that way? And she go. She she give me an investigation. Oh, twenty two. 22. I got a three. I also got a three. Okay. Yay. So with your 22, she said she ripped her cloak. She, and you start looking and you see a tiny little piece of fabric tied around a twig on a bush. And then a little bit further, you see another one tied on a cloak, tied on a little piece of like a twig. Do you make yourself a a trail? Yeah. Well, ain't you a clever one? All right. I guess we follow the trail then. I I point it out to the rest of the group. Just... Or I've like ruffles her hair a little bit, like around the horn. She goes. She leans well, into you. And well, don't you have the makings of a little ranger? <laughs> I'm gonna be a druid. That says I'm gonna be. A Big dread. Do you have a... Do you know about the circles? I draw circles. <laughs> I I mean the type of, of schools for, for druids, young one. We call them circles. They're what we study. What... I shouldn't be a druid. I don't know what that is, though. Oh, well, it's all about about your heart, little Rebella. If you have the heart to learn, you can be whatever you want to be. Then make that be happy. I'll be the big druid. See? Because cause I can do this. And she puts out her hand, and there's, like, a flower there that is very familiar to you again. It is a purple Stella Bella. Very small. Yeah, I mean, you flower. You made it. That's a 
very rare flower. Yeah, I think that I think that's the prettiest. Well, you definitely have some skill being able to make those on command. Hmm. Is is Rebella your only name? Well, I will tell you a secret of mine if you tell me a secret of yours. Okay, okay. that'll be good, though. Well, it will be. But first, I think every princess deserves to have at least one knight under her command, don't you? Yes, that's where I keep you. <laughs> well... It's often been told in many tales across the land of how princesses will confide all of their secrets in their most trusted of knights. You see, she gets pensive. She's thinking about this. But Daddy said not to tell anyone. This is a secret. But if Daddy also said that you could trust the knight if you got in danger, didn't he? It looks like she's really good. Like that face that I just made is her totally like, oh no. <laughs> and uh, one second. She leans into you and she goes, okay. She waits. My He like leans in, gets real close. Our part. Your name is Ribella Arbor. You're not supposed to see it. No, he. Sorry, that was that was my <laughs> lack of la, lack of whisper, not a Rebs. But we'll, we'll lean into that. So he he says it out loud, and he goes, "Oh, don't, don't, don't." It's a. You see, something you may not know about knights is that knights often travel. With a uh, a personal crew and and uh, that help him fulfill his duties of, of knighthood. So all these people you see, they're they're all sworn to the same secrecy of service that I am to you, princess. You you don't need to worry about it. If you need another secret as payment, I've got a good one, juicy, no secret. an excellent one. You want to hear it? Maybe yes. I have a friend who's a baker, and the last time I was there, before I left on this trip, I swiped something from the bakery. Do you want to see it? Yeah. And I pull out my wonderful endless candy box that you gave me. Okay, let me see how this works. (laughs) This kid's about to love me. Forever. Okay, I can't find it, but basically I have chocolate candy that I can give her. There's like uh like eleven pieces in there or something, and they will replenish two every every day. There we go. I think she's back on our side. You give her a chocolate mm-hmm. and she's just like, This is the best thing that she's ever had. She's excited and she's like, Okay, yeah, this is pretty good. Yeah, then okay, yeah. I won't tell nobody you stole. That's bad thing, you know. I won't tell. Thank you. You can do it with me. And we won't tell anybody the secret you just told us. Mm-hmm. Better not. Word. Cross my heart. She's looking at you very suspiciously. First test failed. <laughs> looking at me? Oh, no. What? Gotcha. <laughs> rest. gotcha. I gotta stop talking when people can suss me out like that. <laughs> Uh, so what would you like to do? Following the path, I guess. Are we following her path instead of the tiger now, or are they still the same? They are going the same way. Yeah, I think maybe we let the tiger lead as long as the paths are in the same general direction. Keep an eye out for these little marker posts that our little friend left us. And if they diverge, then we can decide which way to go, but I get the feeling they're going to be together. It just makes more sense narratively. 
But not everybody tell me their names. Uh, you did. Oh, did I? I don't, I don't, I don't remember. Oh, well, I'm silly that way. I'm sorry. My name is Gilly. Hi, Gilly. It's very nice to meet you. I've never met a princess before. Yeah, princess. And this here's winter. Hi. Uh, hi. Great hey, with kids. <laughs> he's just like, uh, <laughs> don't know what which, to do. Which is the best. Can't, can't, oh, it's, it's all right, winter. He's He's got a little bit of a chilly personality, but you'll warm up to him. Get it? Because he's been she a leans into <laughs> She leans into uh, a red and goes, he's pretty. What? Pretty. Uh, yes, winter is very pretty. Why you keep saying our secrets aloud? <laughs> <laughs> Winter's like, thank you. You're very pretty too. Speaking of pretty, and I put an arm around Faza and bring her close. This lovely one here's name is Faza. Hi. Hi. Okay, this, this, this night. Which night? She's riding, she's on him. <laughs> she's pointing at Rev. Rev. Me. Hey, you. What's your name? Can I insight check her real quick? Go ahead. Twenty-four. Twenty-four. Seems innocent. She seems smart. She's a very smart kid. But mm. no more than that. I just want to know if I'm being played. <laughs> ah. Maskus wouldn't have even thought to check. This is the thing, is like the because we've been fine without giving our names so far. Gonna tell me. If you mind, you're always supposed to be my knight. Why you not tell me? <laughs> my name is Dasar. See so here, just really consider that. Have an uncle. Um, what is that? Um, a sad excuse for a ranger shouldn't be a knight. You're my uncle. You have heard about me. <laughs> Has two mommies. That's that's me. Hi. Hi, kiddo. Nice to meet you. I love you. <laughs> nice to finally meet you too. You know, um, you know how we bumped into each other out here? Mm-hmm. Funny story, your dad asked me to come find you and take you take you to him. I just thought you might want to play a bit of a fun game with me first of a of a a little guess who, if you will. Yeah, for me down. Hmm? Can you put me down? Was I carrying her? Yeah. Oh, yeah, sure. I I put her down. Hey, bye. And she starts walking off <laughs> into the into the forest by herself. <laughs> whoa, 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 Where do you think you're going? 
And I'm not supposed to be with people that are bad and lie. And then you stole stuff and you lied to me. So I can go uh, find my dad on my own. I rolled for her. She rolled really well. (laughs) Whoops. Okay. So I'm sorry that I lied to you. I may not have been asked by your dad. However, I know him very well. And I know for sure that he would want me to take you to him safely. Mm. So I told you that he told me to do it because I was thinking that might make you more comfortable. But you were a very smart girl and I should not have lied. Mine's bad. But I lied too. And she pulls it, she goes through her bag and she pulls out this very crumpled picture of you. Because I have pictures of all the family. And she so she has an actual like photo of me. Yeah, she has a painting. Or, you know. <laughs> I thought you in the woods, so I knew you bring me home. I'll follow you. How how about we get you home, huh, Rabella? Okay. And she turns it over. She goes, she, "There's actually a picture of your mom and your dad, your mom and your mom on the back." Oh, it's got my mom and my dad. I'm like and for a second there. Wait a second. Your mom and your mom. Okay. Yeah, so close. We almost figured <laughs> out who. Almost figured so, out who's you, my dad. So close. <laughs> Who's your daddy? Uh, we don't know. I have more picture. I'll show you later. I'd like that. I'd I'd like to know what you know. You don't want what? I know that the sky is blue. And I know that. I, I as she rails this off, rattles this off. I just like take her and I start walking with her, uh, being mindful of the clouds with my detect mm-hmm. magic, and just walk off walk in off. the direction that we're supposed to give go. Give me, give me, um, give me an insight check as you're doing this. Okay. Uh, twenty six. Twenty six. You're very, as you're walking around these clouds and stuff, you notice that she seems to already be moving in the direction you that you're going as you're, as you're leading her. Just, just, just a second or two before. Interesting. I feel like and that's. Continue on. Jeez, and excellent. I know that, I know that they're the that 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 there's there's three important trees in the Reyes, and I know that um bumblebee things hurt, and uh, I know that <laughs> and you just keep going. Um, yes, I I scream is cold. Yes, spaghetti is your favorite food. <laughs> well, and I just... know that, and I know that, I know that. Oh, I know bad things. I know bad things. Huh? Should I say bad things? Um, you can say if you can say bad things without saying bad words. I will absolutely listen. Oh, <laughs> it takes her a second. She's quiet. Oh, um, grandma is not nice. Grandma is not nice. doesn't like her. And he doesn't like the eldest druid. Why is she not nice? The oldest druid is 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 not my grandma. Other grandma? What? So my great grandma. Your your great grandma is not the nicest person. No, grandma is not the nicest. 
Wouldn't that be Nayless's mom? Who can say? Oh. That is a that is a safe assumption to make. Yes. Yeah, because I know Phaelas referred to the eldest druid as her grandmother. Yes. And I know her name is Arbor. Mm-hmm. So I'll I'll assuming I'm hearing some of this conversation, Mascus will point that out. I don't know how your family tree looks exactly, but it sounds like it might be. Not the eldest druid, but her daughter. I think she so, only has the one. So, uh, you Rev, remember you, when you I... know, or you know that uh, she doesn't have a daughter, which is the whole problem. Yeah, that's that's oh. the problem. Um, so the the problem here is that uh, that photo that you were shown that you or that you summoned up mm. did he look at all familiar to you the answer to this should be slightly yes which which photo that you summoned the, up the photo of Roy yes daddy yes but I'm talking to Damascus like, can, can you just look at that again for me I look at it do I recognize it in any way you, oh. you well he'd see some similar family traits to Roy's sister. They don't look alike at all. Um, oh, Phelus right. was a purple tiefling, mm-hmm. and Roy is a human. Oh, right. Yes. Well, I mean, they like, still have similar face structures, just like different, right? Yeah, fair enough. So, no. Um, so he. Oof. What's the fastest way that I can explain this to you? When I joined your group and I had learned my cousin was previously a part of your group, right? I was a little taken aback by that. Understandably so. It's a hell of a coincidence. Well, the coincidences seem to be piling up because this little girl's father is also my cousin and is the brother of Theus. So, shit. It's it's a small world, but, like, it's not. Correct me if I'm wrong, but wouldn't that make this little one potentially next in line to be Eldest Druid? Yeah, I'm a princess. You certainly oh. are a princess. I didn't realize she was being quite so literal. Neither did I. Okay. I think it's pretty important important that we find your mom. And I know that also birds only have one hole as bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, and I think that's what we're going to call the session. <laughs> Perfect. What? She's going to make a great Eldest Druid. She knows all the facts. So, so all knowledgeable. The facts. So wise. <laughs> oh, um, anyways, um, that was Ray Bella. Um, <laughs> we'll, see. we'll see you next week. It was a pleasure having you with us, Carl. And I am... Um, I look forward to next week. Uh, yes. Again, I am Isom Stiers, and I have been your shenanigan sovereign, Daniel. That's me. I'm Dan. Uh, you can find me as the Speed of Candy on all of the various internet places. I have been Damascus Silver, the half elf bard warlock, who I just, she's so cute. He loves her. <laughs> he can't. He, uh, <laughs> she's adorable. Uh, James. Hello, I'm James, uh, and uh, this is my regular talking voice, but uh, <laughs> tonight I played, um, fortunately, Arab Dezark, our uh, 
somewhat human uh, druid and uh, was not playing Varian, his counterpart sorcerer who lives inside of his body. Uh, and I am very confused and perplexed because family drama. We love it. And I have been Caro, um, imaginary Caro and quarter Caro everywhere else. And I was Gilly Ghislaine, the water genasi barbarian. Uh, we'll see you next week. Okay, I love you. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye.